guys, how are we? JC and Dallas here from zoodotravel.com.au on our last night in Bangkok. Last night in Bangkok, doing a bit of a rooftop bar hop this time around. So first stop on the list is at Sofitel. It's called the Belga, Belga, Belga rooftop bar, bar and brasserie. Yeah. And brasserie. So this is stop number one. Uh, so on. On this filming, it's not going to be too much talking because there's going to be some copyright music. So, just going to pan around, film. So, guys, enjoy the music. Yeah. We'll we can fit in. Let's go. Is that a. That's the Coke. Coke syrup, soda, and Jack Daniels. I got them white, I got them rose. Okay guys, we've got the first taste test of the Coe Garden Rosé. Dale's going to have a sip. Yeah, I'm not sure if you get this audio because of the background music, but hopefully. Coe Garden Rosé. Kind of scared, but kind of interested. It's actually pretty good. What's it like? It's just a little bit berry flavour. Great. Yeah, it's not overpowering or anything, but it is, have a, it is sweet dish. Sweet guys, well that was it at the Sofitel. Quick drink at the Sofitel up in the rooftop bar. Now we're at the Hyatt. Just down the road. Go uh, to the Spectrum Bar. Spectrum Bar. So we're going to check that one out. Uh, Soft Hotel was actually really nice. The only problem is we couldn't get a seat on the balcony because they were all full up and we did not make a reservation. Uh, our mistake, not theirs. Uh, let's see if we have similar luck here or not. And stopping on you in three, two, one. Cozy uh, food cart stand, as you can see. Now I've been told this is one of the best spots to come for for some street food. So they probably can't eat too much because of the traffic, but a lot of the food, and we'll go from there. Cool guys. So this street food uh, stand has a little restaurant. Uh, not <laughs> this street food restaurant has a little menu. Uh, as you can see, this one is all in Thai. Now, I'm going to get verification in a minute, but I've got a feeling that this Thai menu is the same menu I just looked at, which I'll show you in a second, but catered for locals, so it's actually cheaper, which is why nothing's in English. Uh, but the restaurant is called nu Nua Chang? Nua Kan Chan. By Cha Cha. And I think that's Cha Cha? Cha Cha. That's Cha Cha there in the photo. Uh, as you can see, you can order via line, contact on Facebook, or there's the phone number there. Full menu availability here, yeah, so I see, you can already see here the, the, the local prices. They range from 60, 100, 200, 80, 100, 150, 120, all the way around down here. Yeah, definitely not what we saw on the English menu, which I'll show you in a second. So they, they do this thing here where they split the prices between foreigners and locals. If you're a local, you pay the Thai price. If you're a foreigner, you pay the foreigner price. So I'll show you the foreigner menu in just a second. Alrighty guys, so this is the 
English or foreigner menu. As you can see there still is Thai on there, but as we flick through, you will notice some key differences, especially around pricing. Uh, so they've got the English and Thai definitions on there. Starting over here, about 100 baht a piece. Now you wouldn't expect a place like this on the street with cars going past this close to us to be a particularly expensive restaurant. But I've been told this is an amazing food restaurant. So I'm rolling with it. You can see we've got the omelettes there. We've got the Patsy, uh, Patsy Fiel, Fiel, I think. So all your noodle dishes, fried rice dishes. As you can see, this one over here ranges between 200 and 400, depending on what you get with it, uh, especially with the, the crab and the mixed seafood, all that sort of thing. It gets more and more expensive. Uh, a lot of seafood dishes here, as you can see. Even the fried chicken cashew at 250, that's uh, pretty steep there. Tom Young, I got, because I, I love Tom Yum. So I ordered the, or well, I got uh, my friend here to order me the Tom Yum seafood. So I think that's about 400, so man, it better be good. As we can see, they do cater, I mean, from this one stand, it's a very, very, very extensive menu. But as you can note, these prices are way, way, way above the Thai only menu. So guys, feel free to pause and have a look at this menu. I'm just skimming through it really quickly. These I actually really love. Not for that price though. So. Then you have seafood. Proper whole cooked seafood. Then you can see how big. It's ridiculous. That was it there guys, so the full menu here. I'll get back to you shortly when we've got the food and I will tell you if it's worth the price that we paid. So first, right off the bat, we've got the papaya salad, so we're just going to split this one. For those that don't know, papaya salad, very spicy and delicious. So let's get into it. So guys, as you can see, tucking into this papaya salad, we've got some little tiny crabs in here. This, I've just been told, is Isan style papaya salad. So not just a, uh, a mix of vegetables and chili. So next up, guys, we've got the uh, fried chicken feet. So I ordered a separate chicken wing over here. But we've got one, two, three, four fried chicken feet. So crispy fried chicken feet. Oh, that's hot to hold. I don't know if you've ever had chicken feet before. I've had it at um, Yum Cha restaurants before where they cook them really soft. So I'm eager to try one of these and see how it goes. Dal will get you to film me when I try one. Okay guys, we've got a full table here. So over here we've got the Tom Yum seafood mix. Crazy. Dal's crispy fried pork. And I got my fried pork with um, vegetable here. Yeah, I'm gonna tuck into this. My mouth is already burning from the papaya salad, so I'm not looking forward to the next uh, few meals as far as spice goes. Let's see how a crispy fried chicken hook goes. I don't know where to start. This way? Okay. We've got a toe. Not much meat. Tasty there. There we go. So, see there, pulling off that toe. 
massive bit of meaty fat. As you can see guys, we've pretty much demolished uh, everything on there. Scraps on the plate still. Almost got through the entirety of the papaya cellar. Dallas has finished his crispy pork. I finished my pork and veg. Uh, just a little bit of the dregs left of the Tom Yum soup. The Tom Yum seafood, so it was a seafood mix. Uh, so this whole table plus the little extra little bits and pieces that we had prior, uh, 800 baht. So if you go back earlier in the video and you see what prices the foreigner prices were, yeah, it's definitely up there. Probably not worth the 800, to be fair, considering we're on the side of the road here. Look at the most expensive street stall. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, that's... Because dressed nicely, so you got the expensive menu. <laughs> yeah, they saw me coming. Now uh, we, 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 we dressed up nice for the uh, rooftop bars. Look, don't get me wrong, the food was amazing. It's just paying restaurant prices at a street level. It's, yeah. But look, it's our last night in Bangkok. We, we've got that tiny little bit of extra cash to spend anyway, because we're leaving tomorrow. So it's not like it's a loss or anything like that, to be honest. I'm not really upset about the price, to be fair. It was absolutely delicious. And we got a lot of seafood stuff as well. So. Keep that in mind. The Tom Yum alone was a mixed seafood Tom Yum. The papaya salad had like whole crab all the way through it. And the pork was fair price and delicious. So anyway guys, we're gonna finish up here. Keep moving, let's see where the night takes us. Yeah. 